In four weeks, you could be a business owner as opposed to your business owning you. If somebody were to come to me and say, I have one month and I need my business to be working for me instead of me being a slave to it, what should I do? This is the flow principle that I would give them. I say, okay, bundling. It's the simplest, most effective way to get things so that they're flowing and to make it fast. If you haven't watched the previous video about how flow, getting things into flow is the key to freedom in business, then I encourage you to go back and watch that video first. In the simplest terms, bundling is where you take something that you need to get done and you attach it to something that is getting done reliably and you just stick them together. Let me start with kind of a quirky example. Most mornings, my keys are in the fridge. <laughs> so I have raging ADHD uh, and mine is the hyper focus variety. I get so over focused that the rest of the world just disappears. Uh, my oldest daughter, she's almost 18, or my wife, they'll, they'll make me lunches. I still like bringing my own lunch to work. Still to this day, I'll go grab my coat, walk right on out, and then stop and, oh, where's my keys? <laughs> I can't drive my car without my keys. And so they just stuff my keys into the pocket in the lunchbox. You'd think after almost 25 years of having lunches made most days, you'd think that I'd remember. I don't. <laughs> I still don't to this day. I still forget. And I'm, and I'm not embarrassed to admit that because all of us, we have gaps. We have stuff that trying to use discipline or memory or whatever else, it's... You can try, but most people, it doesn't work. What I've found, flow, coping, finding ways to make it natural uh, to do the stuff that you want to do. And so, as quirky as that is, I'll actually get into an actual real-world business principle of bundling something. Uh, let me talk to you about my third bankrupt business that I acquired, a wholesale lighting supplier. So I've actually done multiple lighting companies. And I went in and one of the first problems that I could see is that they were forgetting to invoice orders. So they would put lighting orders together that they would then deliver out to the job site for contractors and they would forget to invoice. So I started poking around and one of the flow principles is go out and observe, watch, what's happening? Don't assume, never assume. <laughs> and it didn't take me long to figure out we're relying upon the delivery drivers to remember to create an invoice before they take a delivery. And they were forgetting, many times they were forgetting. The company had tried everything and there were still invoices that were kind of slipping through the cracks. And so it was causing problems. That One of the worst losses you can have is when you've done everything. You still have to pay the vendor. You can't call the supplier up and be like, oh, we're real sorry. We forgot to invoice this, so we need you to forget to invoice us. <laughs> that doesn't work that way. And so I started watching the process, and I noticed that every single day, the delivery drivers, for every stop they had to make, they would create a delivery ticket because they needed to be able to take each of the items off of the truck, and they would just check off the items. And they'd been doing that for years, a little delivery ticket that they were pulling out of QuickBooks. And so I said, okay, can we create an invoice that looks like a delivery ticket? Yes, we can do that. All right, can we reprogram the button or change the button in QuickBooks? Can we actually have that create an invoice instead? Well, yeah, we can do that. Okay, so that's what we did. We actually created an invoice that looked exactly like a delivery ticket, even called it delivery ticket, and then just changed the button that they were using to print their delivery tickets over to create an invoice, and then told them, hey, guess what? Forget about invoices. We don't need you to create them anymore. Just go create your delivery tickets and do your delivery. From that point forward, as soon as we bundled something that needed to get done with, an, uh, with a reliable process, we haven't missed an invoice since, not a single one. That's an example of using this principle of bundling. If you started today and picked one task, one, you know, a task that's aggravating uh, per week and bundled it with something else, then in a month you'd surprise yourself at how much more energy and time you have to work on the business instead of in it. Let your irritation be your guide. The next time something comes up that's like, oh, I'm so sick of this. Just start with that. I actually told one of my coaching clients, I said, I want you to take a little piece of paper. I want you to put it in your desk. Every time you find that pit in your stomach that, oh, I'm so sick of this, or I wish I didn't have to do this, or, oh, crap, this didn't get done. I just want you to write it down. Do that for two weeks, and then when you and I meet, I'm going to just read these off, and I'm going to pay attention to which one furrows your brow the most. And then as soon as I see that, that's the one we're going to pick. But if you're not sure where to start, just start with that, and then pick a time. Give yourself 30 minutes or an hour one day to just go through and stack rank those. Okay, if I could fix this one, and then walk your way through the bundling 
If you have questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll answer every single question. If there's specifics that I can help you with, then let me know and I'll record a video on that. Like, okay, how can I do it in this? How can I apply it to the collections, sales, management of people, recruiting, whatever? Leave it in the comments and uh, if there's enough of them, I'll create a video just for that.